One of the most long requested feature requests for InDesign is to add the ability to create documents with mixed page sizes in the same document. So I'm going to walk you through what that's like and now in InDesign CS5. I'm going to create a new document. We'll come back to this magazine cover in just a moment. We're going to create a new document though. I'm going to turn off facing pages just for uh, purposes of showing you this new feature. I'm going to add six pages to this document and we'll make the orientation uh, tall. Go ahead and click OK. And in our pages panel, you'll see we have six pages all the same size. I'm going to add a new master page to this document. And we'll just right click on that existing master page in the pages panel and choose new master. We'll just call it master B. Go ahead and click OK. And then at the bottom of the pages panel, the first evidence of this new mixed or multiple page sizes feature is there's a new drop down menu at the bottom of the pages panel where you can quickly choose a new page size for your selected page. These are some preset sizes for uh, page sizes that you might use often. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 800 by 600. Uh, that's a pixel measurement there. And you can see that the master page now has changed to a wide orientation. I'm going to go ahead and apply that B master page to other pages in the document. So page 2, page 4, and page 6. And as you see, as I drag that master page, uh, the B master page, on top of other pages, they automatically change their page sizes. If I go back to page 1 by double clicking and zooming out, so you can see all the pages at once. You can see every other page now is a mixed size. I can also customize each page size outside of applying a master page to it. If I go ahead and select that page in the Pages panel, I can switch to a new page tool. It's in the Tool panel. There's a new icon for it. If I click on any page, you'll see that it highlights. And once I select a page in the Layout view, the Control panel now becomes uh, available for me to edit that actual page size. You'll see I still have those preset lists up here in a drop down menu as well. Or I can actually use the control panel controls to size and position these pages as well. I can choose where I want the resizing to happen from. So it can be from the center or the upper left hand corner or whatever proxy point you want. I'm just going to go ahead and make this half as wide by putting a divide symbol there and typing in 2 in the width. Hitting return. And you'll see I've customized that one page. Now if I go back and change the size of the B master page. I'll go ahead and double click on the B master to do that. And we'll go ahead and select that page. And again, we'll use the control panel. I'm going to change this to a tabloid page. And you'll see that every page that was using the B master page has now changed to tabloid, except page two. Page two is still that custom page size because we did a local override on that specific page. If I want, I can keep that or I can actually just drag the B master onto page two again. And when I do that, it gives me an opportunity to resynchronize that page to its original master page size. So now they're back to the way they were. Let's go back to that magazine cover and show more of a real world practical use of this feature. What we want to do in this magazine is add a slight gatefold on the cover. We want a little flap that will uh, be uh, a slightly wider cover that will be on the inside and the outside of that magazine cover. So to do that, let's go ahead and get out of preview mode by pressing the letter W. And we're going to go to our Pages panel, and we're going to add a new page to this document. Go ahead, one page selected, click the New Page button, and that will insert a new page. And what we want to do is go to our Pages panel, and from the Flyout menu, choose Allow Document Pages to Shuffle. This allows us to move pages around from spread to spread and attach them uh, to create a, a gatefold layout. So I'm moving that new blank page over to the right of the cover page here. We'll go back to the spread for page 1 and 2. With our page tools still chosen and active, I'm going to select that new page. I'm going to go to the control panel and make the width of that new page 18 picas from the upper left hand corner. And you'll see that page now resizes to be that flap width that we're looking for. At this point, I can get my selection tool and I'm going to go ahead and select the content that I want to extend onto the flap. I'm going to go ahead and click on the models and just drag that bounding box over to the right to extend that content to the flap page. And then we'll select the skyline background graphic via the new layers panel. We'll target that particular object to select it and we'll just expand that as well. So there you can see just a kind of a real quick way to use this feature to create a custom gatefold on a magazine cover.